Hi everyone and welcome to We Love Art. My name is Denise and today we're gonna recreate the Golden Crescent originally created by me. And what you will need is our We Love Art box available on weloveart.com. And in this box, you will find our pre-sketch canvas, seven colors of paint, three brushes, a big one for all the big areas, a medium one for all the blending and a small one for all the little details. What you'll need extra is a kitchen towel to dry your brushes and a jar with water to rinse your brushes. And that's it. Happy painting everyone. So here, let's start at the top. And we just add this color nice and thick. What I usually do as well is that I fill the top and the sides and the bottom of the compass with the color you're creating. So you basically wrap the compass in with the color that you're using. Stroke-wise, you can keep any kind of stroke direction you want. So you could have more horizontal or more vertical, or, and this is what I quite often do, I have more of a multi-directional um, brushwork and the reason why I do that is because it gives quite nice texture and just a little bit of extra movement in your canvas. I kind of like that but I would say for you whatever you prefer go with that technique. Now the crescent moon, together often with a star as well, is believed to be an, a symbol of Islam. You will see also many flags of several Muslim countries with the same symbol, with a crescent moon and a star. Today we only focus on the crescent moon. However, if you fancy to put anywhere else a star in your painting, absolutely do so. Remember, this is gonna be your own beautiful version of today's masterpiece. So the more you add in of your own, the better. So we are now at the final part of this incredible painting and it's going to be even better from now onwards. We're going to use the... It is going to be super nice. So as mentioned before, this gold leaf is very, very thin. So you will see here, I put a little bit on my fingers. If I do like this, here, it's gone into powder. So you decide how much you want. So you can have a quite powdery look or you can have quite thick, like you, you put the paper, you put the leaf quite thick on the painting. I'll show you both options and then you decide what you would like for your masterpiece. Come on, let's have a look. If you have glue, then use the glue. If you don't have glue, I will show you both options as well. I prefer glue if you have one. So I am gonna actually put it just everywhere on my goal, uh, on my, um, on my mask. And let this painting please remind you of the progress you make, of all your hopes and dreams and plans. You're planting that little seed right now 
while looking at your painting and every time when you look at it again let it remind you of the progress you make with all your plans. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe below. Thank you so much and look forward to see you again. Bye.